With the advent of World War II, the University of Houston saw opportunities to serve the nation and aid in the war effort by offering training for the armed services. At the height of the war in 1943, more than 10,000 trainees were enrolled in war production courses taught by university personnel. Undertaking such a direct role in the defense effort, the University of Houston needed new buildings and facilities as soon as possible. The need for a recreation building was especially urgent due to pending contracts with the United States Navy. The university needed to provide an all-weather location for mandatory drills, physical education classes, and meals. Wanting to aid in the war effort and hoping to retain students after the war, the University of Houston set up 24-hour construction crews and the recreation building was completed in 60 days. The Navy had 95% use of the building until it departed the campus in 1945. When the war ended, the Navy left and veterans flooded the campus. As returning or new students, their presence nearly doubled enrollment. The recreation building, only a few years old, shed its wartime atmosphere and quickly became the center for student activities. It was home to a bookstore, cafeteria, and student organization offices. At its heart was the Cougar Den. The Den, as it was called, was a hot spot for students at all hours of the day. Located on the main floor, the Den offered snacks and coffee from a small cafeteria inside and a jukebox. At that time, they had a place called a Cougar Den, and that's where usually everybody hung out between classes or before and after classes. That was a meet and greet spot, a little cafeteria, and people played cards and socialized, you know. The mid-1960s brought several new buildings to the university campus. With enrollment well over 15,000, the beloved Cougar Den, now falling apart due to its rushed construction roughly 25 years ago, was no longer large enough to handle the rising student body and number of student organizations. Plans for many new modern facilities were drawn up and the Cougar Den was demolished. Its significance to the student body, however, was not overlooked. And when the University Center was opened in 1967, it included a new Cougar Den. <laughs>